Well, the, the difference that is happening at the moment is that there's a great deal of homophobia and Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. And therefore, the other minority groups are out of the picture, like Africans and Afro-Caribbeans. And I think that people, other differences in that within those ethnic groups are part of what they need is not being met. And so I think that the attention needs to be much more general than it is at the moment. Well, I think the, the, the barriers fall into three categories at the moment. With Brexit, people are mistaking the limitation on immigration from Europe to mean that all immigrant people, and that means people that are from Africa, or the Caribbean, Asia, etc., are part of it. So that you've had a, a series of incidents that, are, that we haven't had in the last 25 years that have now taken place because of Brexit. And I think that people ought to understand the difference between European free movement of peoples and people who are of immigrant heritage because we're talking about the third generation now. So that it's peoples who came here, their children and their grandchildren. So they can't still be immigrants. They're people of ethnic heritage. And I think that we have to get that clear and we have to get that out in the open and being discussed. And what we have at the moment is using blanket terms like immigration and immigrants, and everybody feels that anybody of color or different ethnicity falls into that category. Well, first of all, I ought to say that positive discrimination is not something that I pers personally favor. I feel people ought to be tested on their merits and employed on their merits and their skills and, and whatever other personality qualities they bring to the job. And so I would not be in favor of positive discrimination. But if people feel that by taking on their responsibility for making sure that they're using the multi-ethnic aspect of our society to employ people on a fair and equal basis, if that's what they're calling positive discrimination, then I'm in favor of it. But I don't know, I, from my experience, the number of people now in positions in places like the media, the, um, the newspapers, in jobs, and people who have risen in the, as individuals into high positions, um, executive positions, both in the city and in the civil service, are a good thing for people to see because they're positive role models. But I wouldn't want anybody to be employed just because they belong to an ethnic group. I'm not in favor of that. To, to address it properly, you ought to look at people, look at the society. We are a multicultural society. And you ought to take the best person for the job and make sure that you have a fair balance of the diversity that is represented in our society. And that would be my advice to anybody. Well, since we got the Race Relations Act 50 years ago, well, it's 51 years now, that was the very first act which didn't deal with the issues that were at hand. I think that there's been great improvement, a tremendous amount of improvement. And this is why I'm so, so concerned about the reactions of people after the Brexit vote, because people are going backwards instead of going forwards. We have made tremendous progress, both in the issue of race, which is um, um, oh, something that people can easily identify because we don't look, all look the same way. And in the fact that people have been able to get to university, to do well, to get good jobs, etc. We still, however, have underlying the whole society some forms of institutional racism and we get it in different places. It isn't overt racism as when I first came to this country in 1959, but it's there. And people's inner feelings, although they may not be expressed, are still being played out. And I think that we have to try and free ourselves. We have to treat each other as equals. 
and that is something that we have to begin to, to address again because of the Brexit vote and the sort of negative impact it's having. Well, I think individuals can make a difference. That is individual employers, um, how, uh, estate agents, etc. In education, we can make a heck of a difference. We have to make sure that children are fulfilling their true potential. And uh, that has, was something that we'd overcome. Because when I first came to this country in education, people felt that if you came from a certain ethnic group, you couldn't aspire or achieve beyond a certain point. Now that went away. It seems to be coming back. And that, I think, is a, a huge problem that has to be faced. It has to have an open debate about it. Because I think putting things behind do closed doors or under carpets is not necessarily going to help anybody. So our major thing is that I think we need some serious consideration of the effects that Brexit is having and the move backwards that we have made in all the areas which needs to be faced up to and addressed. And I think the biggest thing that the government can do is to try and teach people the difference between European free movement and immigration from other countries and the population that is here, that has been here since the Second World War and before. We had black people who fought in the Battle of Waterloo. And so by now we should, come, we should get accustomed to being able to cope and to use the skills and to treat everybody equally before the law and in social issues. Race relations has improved enormously between 1965 and 2010 or so. Then we seem to be beginning to go backwards because we had a bit of anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and since we have had the difficulties with the jihadist, um, people have taken a different attitude even to their neighbors whom they know very well. And therefore I think that what we need to do is to pause, reflect, and really make sure that we go back to what we had achieved before, go backwards rather than go forwards. And I think that the opportunity to discuss how we are going to manage and what ways in which we're going to manage leaving the European Union gives a great opportunity to public leaders, to the police, to the government, etc., to be able to make that difference and to talk about people who have been born in this country for three genera two generations at least, if not three, will be treated as ordinary citizens so that when people walk down the road, people shouldn't be asking them when are they going home because this is their home. So I think Brexit is the turning point.